Blackmagic Design has a time-limited offer where you can get a copy of DaVinci Resolve Studio, which is worth $300, for free. And in today's video, I'm going to tell you how that offer works. When I started to take the channel more seriously about six months ago, I was looking into ways to make the editing process faster and more efficient. So I came across a piece of software called DaVinci Resolve. Now there's a free version and there's the studio version, which usually retails for about $300. Now I started with the free version and the free version is absolutely fine. Blackmagic Design just hold back some of the really powerful features for the studio version. So the free version has things like automatic audio sync for your videos and this was something that was really painful in Premiere Elements and this feature alone sold Resolve to me. I thought I need to move over to Resolve full time for my video editing. Then as the weeks went past as I started to learn Resolve I decided well I think I'm just going to move over to Resolve and that I want to pay for the studio version partly because I just think it's fantastic value and I really like the product and I think for this software $300 is really a steal and there were other features in the studio version of the product that I thought that I need to have. And probably the main one was hardware accelerated graphics for the type of video file that most consumer cameras produce, including mine, which is H.264. Now without this hardware accelerated graphics, Resolve is a little bit sluggish. Now this is only an issue on Windows because Mac devices, they come with the license for hardware accelerated H.264 graphics built into the operating system, but Windows doesn't. So with the studio version of Resolve on Windows, you get that capability built into the Resolve software itself. And not only is Resolve really good value, but unlike other software like Adobe, Premiere Pro, which is the big full professional version of their editing software. You don't have to pay a monthly subscription fee and you get free upgrades forever. So with this offer, you will actually get probably in the box DaVinci Resolve Studio 16, but when you get it and install it, you can upgrade it straight to version 17. So how do you get your copy of Resolve for free? Well, at the moment, Blackmagic Design is offering a new piece of hardware that they have called the Speed Editor. And this is designed for use with the cut page in DaVinci Resolve. And essentially it's a macro keyboard. So you have here a jog wheel that allows you to navigate your timeline or your source tape or even your individual clips. You can mark your in and out points. You can create cuts on the timeline. You can even use multicam. You can switch to the sync bin. You can add and modify transitions. And there's very little that you can't do with this device. So it's designed that you will use this with the cut page and that you never really need to take your hands away from it. Now, this retails for $300 usually, so they're exactly the same price as a license for DaVinci Resolve Studio, in fact. But with the time-limited offer, what you're actually getting if you buy this is you also get your license for DaVinci Resolve Studio bundled with it for free. So you can either look at it as you're buying this and getting this for free, or you're buying the license for Studio and getting the Speed Editor for free. Now, I wasn't looking to buy this device, and I'm not sure that I really even need it, to be honest, but I'm still getting used to using it, so if you're interested in a full review of the product, then let me know in the comments below, and then maybe I'll create a video on the product itself. At the moment, I can't say that it's must-have, but it's pretty nifty, it's very well built, and it's kind of for free as far as I'm concerned, so I thought, well, why not? Let's, let's get this. There is a little bit of a learning curve involved. So I just got used to using Resolve with the keyboard and mouse. Then when you switch over to the speed editor, well, you've got a whole other world that you have to get used to. It's not a huge leap, of course, because once you understand the editing basics, then you probably understand how to use the speed editor. It's just a different experience that you have to adapt to and get used to. And it just takes a little bit of time, of course. Now, at the time of recording this video, I checked with the 
local reseller here in the Czech Republic and the offer is still valid. I don't know how long it's going to go on for. When I ordered this back in December, it did take about six weeks for it to arrive. So it does seem as though that Blackmagic designer having some stock issues with the speed editor. But at the moment, it's still on offer. And I actually discovered this offer by accident because if I go to the local reseller's website in the Czech Republic, where I'm based, you can look up buying a license for DaVinci Resolve Studio and it will tell you nothing about the offer with the speed editor. So you can quite easily pay that $300 and just get your license for Studio. But I decided to head over to the UK distributors website just to compare to see if there was any price difference. Of course there isn't a price difference but unlike on the Czech website, on the British website, they take you straight to that offer where you get the speed editor for free. So that's how I I found out about it uh, completely by accident in fact. So do check your local country and check the website to see if they have the deal available for the speed editor. If you found the content in this video useful then please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content on DaVinci Resolve and other content on productivity and tech then please subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments below what video editor you use and whether you like the idea of the speed editor and what you think of DaVinci Resolve. And that's not all. Here are some other videos from my channel that you might find useful. But that's it from me today and I'll see you next time.